By supporting our channel you support legal content on YouTube. Subscribe, click the bell and leave a like. We wish you a pleasant viewing. The Maasai Mara One of the last wild places in Africa Home of my ancestors, the Maasai people Here Animals still fight to survive like millions of years ago. A land crossed by a mighty river that rules the cycle of life. I'm going to tell you the wild stories of my land. Nature preserves the survival of life as a whole over the success of the individual. The Maasai Mara evolves into something more complex to which we all belong. There is a change in the air. It is in these moments when I can feel the ancient fear that takes over the grass eaters. This is the hour of the lion. The lioness hears messages coming through the wind. Its fate is to kill for the sake of an ancient and inevitable balance. life are essentially the same thing. Both are united and depend on each other.
But in nature, nothing becomes what it seems, and power is never absolute. law beyond our understanding distributes energy the right way. At dawn, the savanna is filled with the sounds of many animals. How is it possible that such an extraordinary animal as the giraffe comes from the humility of the plant? She can reach the high branches of the acacias and eat its shoots. Being so special allows her to face the dry season and model the bush. The elephants, the giants of my land. They need large amounts of food to survive. Giraffes and elephants are the creators of this landscape. They build the African savanna. They tear the young acacias, avoiding its expansion, creating the open plains. In search of the nutritious grass. They eat the weight of three men per day. During the dry season, they dig wells, providing water for other animals. Elephants, like humans, are familiar, 
long lived and smart. With great memory, always remember where the good routes for feed and water are in times of drought. Water, sun and soil makes grass grow. And the grass supports millions of grazers that fertilize the land in a never-ending cycle. Big and small grass eaters, keeping the Maasai Mara healthy. Each species working its own way. The buffaloes. Powerful, dangerous and united. Grazing in the most humid areas. Wildebeest, the zebras. Crossing the savanna from south to north. Gazelles, warthogs, rhinos, baboons. All of them exist thanks to the most humble yet indestructible plant. The grass. As a Maasai proverb says, if there were no lions, there would be no savannah. The lions push the evolution and behavior of the grass eaters, adjusting them to the seasonal growth of the grass. For an ambush predator, it is difficult to hunt in the plain when there is nowhere to hide. The lion is fast, impulsive, and powerful. But the intense midday heat shrinks his energy soon. She has failed. Life comes back to the plains when the rain starts.
in the savanna, innumerable territorial struggles happen. Two topis fight, passionate for the heat. Too many males for just one harem. Measuring his strengths, the winner will be able to rule a small piece of the plain, at least for a while. The females are only fertile one day a year. They compete with each other and harass the dominant male to the point of exhaustion. Usually, among antelopes, females are resistant and males are resilient. But not for the topis. Females are pretty much sexually aggressive. Sometimes, I have seen males collapse of weariness when the demands of the females are excessive for them. The Mara River. Murky and turbulent. It is link and boundary. It is fecundity and drama. Immutable, its waters contemplate natural epic events. Ancient and cold. The crocodile. The one who kills smiling, waits. For him, time doesn't matter. It feels the rain coming soon and with it, food for sure. The great travelers of the savannah, slaves of the clouds, chasing them towards the north. It is the Great Migration. Wildebeest and zebras must cross the mighty river on their inevitable journey to the Maasai Mara. They arrive by the millions.
impatient and nervous, they concentrate on the river bank. instinct brings them to face the risk of a certain death. Hunger and thirst increasing. And danger stresses the unbearable atmosphere. Drink or die. Death is the tragic sign to start the crossing. Facing the Mara River, no matter how fast, strong, or experienced you are, sometimes only chance decides. ancestral instinct and the pursuit of the clouds point the way. Crossing the rapids avoids the crocodile's attacks. of the water also charges its tribute. The river is equally severe for all. Without pity or consideration, it decides the fate of millions of animals.
wildebeest, topis, and zebras, always on the move. Guided by clouds, chasing the miracle of the small rains that make grow the grass on which they depend. Dry straw and tender sprouts, in a lucky coincidence, will feed large herds to the limits of the savannas in the north of the Maasai Mara, the promised land. full of rich pastures, volcanic fresh grass. Pure and vivifying water reaches everyone. Narok's gift, the Black God. The one who speaks with thunder voice. great benefactor who brings rain, life, and prosperity. The face, Engai Nanyukie, the one that blows and kills with lightning. Is the red and vengeful god. The 
one that brings hunger and drought. And Kai, with his two faces, is the master of life and death. In a few hours, the Mara River becomes uncrossable. All happens in wonderful synchrony. Predators lie in wait. The great migration brings abundance and good times. For the pride, starvation ends. Cubs, for the first time, watch the great migration. The leading lioness takes the initiative. It's time to hunt. The African savannas touch the nomad's heart. Maybe because to the depths of our consciousness, they are the living Eden.
and allow us to admire ancient scenes full of drama and beauty. Here lives an amazing creature. The cheetah. A lonely hunter wandering the plains. Nomad and free. Without territory. The predator chooses the prey. Palas feel the danger. But they don't know where it hides. The hunt starts. separated by only a few decisive seconds. fail, and frustration. There are many eyes watching, and the hunting gets difficult. Sometimes, a little help from the family is needed. In the Maasai Mara, teamwork almost always leads to success. Cheetah and the Impala, living in uncertain times. Symbols of balance and perfection, they fight to survive in a changing world. A magic scene. Mm -hmm. 
a Maasai proverb says, if you want to get there fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go with someone. On your way, do not carry anything not essential. But never forget to take with you the lion's courage, the eagle's eagerness, the hippo's discretion, the serpentary bird's elegance, Rhino's tenacity. The cheetah's free spirit. And the weaver bird's passion. You must think before acting. And act just when you think it is necessary. Above all, do not forget to enjoy the great journey. The search for the calling of your soul is the supreme purpose. Maybe we only have one life, but if we live it properly, it is enough. Be brave and merciful. Remember that paradise is hidden in small things and everything else barely matters. Jump and dance with the beat of the creation as much as you can. And remember that the culture of people is in their soul. And the land where they live, their hope. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment. Support legal content on YouTube.